Today class, we are going to learn about beef cattle and the byproducts that we use in our everyday lives from them. Most of our beef cattle are raised and finished in feedlots, much like the one in this picture, which we have many of here in Kansas. From a typical 1,000 pound steer, only 400 pounds of it is actually beef. When we think about beef cattle, usually we think about just the meat, like this steak. Or we think about this juicy hamburger that you might have had for lunch today. But there are all types of byproducts, and these are just some of the edible ones. We make jello from the gelatin that is in the bones. Chewing gum is made from fatty acids, and cake mixes like these here are made from the plasma proteins in the blood. Now we're going to talk about some of the inedible byproducts from cattle. So from the hooves and horns we can get piano keys. From the fats of beef cattle we can make a lot of products and one of the most general ones would be crayons. We also use the fats in pet foods like the dog food shown here. Interestingly enough we make um, the tennis racket strings from the intestines of beef cattle sometimes. From the hide we make a lot of leather goods such as the saddle and tack set shown here. And from the hair of the cow we can make lots of brushes like these paint brushes. From the organs we make a lot of different medicines like this insulin that's shown which comes from the pancreas of the cow. And from the adrenal glands of the cow, we can get epinephrine, which is shown here in the EpiPen, which a lot of people use for allergic reactions. So, as you can see, we get a lot of byproducts from our cattle that's not just meat. And you use most of these in your everyday life. 